We started filling in the blanks when we heard there were nearly 475,000 children in Connecticut who do not know where their next meal is coming from. We realized if we could provide consistent nutritional support to these kids during the school year and throughout the summer months, the chances of them having greater success in their lives would be greatly increased. We first started out with children that were just on the free or reduced lunch program, and then we found out about the Alice population, which is asset limited, income constrained, and employed individuals. These are families that are working but can't meet their basic needs such as housing, childcare, food, health care, and transportation, and their families right above the poverty level. So we have started including children in the Alice population within filling in the blanks. Uh, the program of fill in the blanks started with Domus over four years ago and it was started because two wonderful women, Tina and Shawnee, came to meet with me about how they could help our young uh, students um, uh, deal with the struggle of food insecurity. And when they described the program to me, I said this would be an unbelievable opportunity for the young people of Trailblazers and all of the DOMAS programs. When I got here as a social worker, we did not have a weekend food program. And I looked around and I called different agencies to see if Roxbury could sign up. And nobody was signing up any more schools. There just wasn't room with the, with the various food banks. So I happened to hear about filling in the blanks and I think I emailed them through their website and I heard back like 10 minutes later and um, Tina and Shawnee came for a visit at Roxbury and I showed them around the school and you know told them what our school situation was and they said okay you know we'll partner with you and I think we started about a month later. We do a holiday backpack program and we take them backpacks of food and toys and gifts for Christmas and just to see the joy and excitement that they have, um, it's very heartwarming and it just makes us, or makes me I know, feel very happy. It has had a major impact on our students and I'll give you an example. Uh, before the program, students would come to school on Monday, they were hungry, they were complaining of being hungry. Um, Maybe they hadn't had anything or very little to eat over the course of the weekend and that might be because the parents were working and there was no one really to prepare the meal or maybe the family had run out of money for groceries for that month. Um, and it was, it was a real distraction. Um, and it was heartbreaking too. So currently right now, um, the kids who deal with food insecurity at our, at our Trailblazer School, we have 80 young people who take advantage of this opportunity and then between our Chester Addison and our Trailblazer students, we run year-long camps and that's about another 200 students. Uh -huh. The demographics of the young people who fill in the blanks serves are young people who are eligible for free and reduced lunch as well as young people of color. Some are immigrants who are, who are just um, new, new to this country and others are uh, young people where their families are unemployed or underemployed. Mm -hmm. I'm, De I'm Devin and I'm in I'm seven. My name is Sherelle and I'm six years old. Oh, okay, and I'm five. I am nine and my name is Jacob. Hello, Jaden. I'm twelve. My name is Vincent. Uh, um, I'm eight years old. Today's in third grade. To practice, yeah. I'll be hungry. And then I can just get a bag and eat the food cookies. What's your uh, favorite food in it? The macaroni. What about you, Jim? I like the popcorn mm -hmm. and the granola bars. Um, I like the food and all of the stuff that they gave me with the book bag. Huh? Gummy bears. The plain oatmeal and the, and the fruit snack. I like when they gave us a new backpack and gave me a Barbie. Because we mostly, um, like, we got, like, nothing to eat, and we mostly got the food for the backpack. Uh-huh. So that's, so would you say the food for the backpack club is usually what you have to eat for the, the whole weekend? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I love my family a lot of times, like, my mom doesn't get paid until, like, different days, so mm -hmm. at least we're going to have food to 
because uh, because I'm have because I'm have healthy food. Having healthy food, yeah. When students are hungry, they can't learn, and they don't learn. So this has changed that. You know, I don't hear that conversation anymore from the teacher saying, my students are coming to school on Monday and they're really, really hungry. So, you know, teachers were bringing food to school on Monday because they were so hungry the kids had to eat, you know, before the, they could settle down and learn anything. So that has just about gone away. My fondest memory is when we had our first real food delivery and we had about 50 volunteers here ranging from age 5 to adults, SWAT team members and community members and volunteers and it was just overwhelming the support that the community gave and everyone rallied around filling in the blanks. I hope the legacy of filling in the blanks is that it inspires other people to do something great no matter what the cause is but just to help someone else in their community. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time out their day to help kids to eat. Thank, Thank you, you for filling, filling in your the blanks. blanks. Thank you for filling in the blanks. Thank you for filling in the blanks. Thank you for filling in my blanks. Thank you for filling in the blanks. <laughs>